Hello there everyone, it's Nick Nevin, the Witch of Sea Club, and I'm showing you something really special that I do in witchcraft, and it's a kind of ritual spell all in one, and I use art, I use painting as a way to show the spirits what I desire, it's a way I raise energy, and it's a way I create absolute joy. Painting is my joy. So when I paint and I'm working for a client, I may decide to paint to raise my vibration, raise my energy, bring up my joy, and actually put my client into the painting with their desire. And I just, I do expressionist art, sort of abstract expressionist art, and I allow color and form to speak to me and inform me about the client. I get into the client's energy, I get into the target's energy, and I bring it forward in the art so that I'm creating, I'm bringing, I'm actually acting as a magician. I'm creating from nothing. So from nowhere, I'm, I'm manifesting and I'm bringing into the world what I desire and I'm showing the spirits what I desire through my art. And I can't tell you how exceptional this is to create art and to create a spell work. Some of my most successful spell work has been created um, just by me painting and infusing my energy with my clients and raising my vibration, lifting up the desire to the spirits so that they know exactly what I'm asking and the spirits are delighted with art. So my client happens to be a Libra and I know I'm using, I decided to especially use this spell for her because I know Libras love beauty, romance. They love all the romance arts such as painting, music. So what I'll do is I'm going to start with her energy then I'm going to pull in her target's energy, because this is a love spell. And then I'll bring their energy together. And it will all be with painting. But first, I like to start with a ritual. And the ritual here is I, I put out all my paints um, that I'm going to use. So I've set them out. And... I'm gonna light some incense. I have incense there. I'll light the candle there. There's a lover's candle. Let me get in closer. I have a lover's candle. I have a rose quartz crystal. I have the quartz tower to raise the vibration, raise the energy. The incense is going to bring in spirit. Um, I'm using I use some holy water on the canvases. So I spray the canvases with the holy water. I put the back of the canvas, I put her oil that I made for her, and I put some glory water. All very spiritual. Ooh, and that smells really good. So I begin to just infuse my infuse my art supplies with the energy that I de desire. So I'm already calling in the spirits as I mix the paint, as I lay them out, and I go in a clockwise motion, and I just bring energy to the paint. I'm putting my intentions, my desires, into each of the little mixtures of paint, uh, the little piles of paint and as I mix I'm drawing in the energy of love romance couple coming together in love 
commitment, desire. And then I light the incense and I light the candle and I just start to play music and I start to really infuse the canvas with all the energy of my client. So I'm just going to start actually with a pencil. This is a, a graphite, a water soluble graphite. And I'm just going to write on one canvas. I'm just going to write. I'm going to write her. This isn't her name. This is her sign. She's a Libra. And I'm just going to, on the other side, put her partner. Oops. <laughs> and he is Aries. And I'm going to bring them together and just use lines. Bringing them together. like that and then I'll give them a spritz of water and I'll allow it to drip and now it's a little bit light I went a little bit light but that's okay because I'm gonna start with some darks so what I want to do is bring some contrast so I'm thinking of her name I'm thinking about the way she looks I'm thinking of her energy. I'm picking up her energy. And I'm also, whoops, picking up her man's energy. I'm bringing this together. Now, like I said, this is expressionist art. So, and I work in layers. I'm working with acrylic, so I work in layers. And as I work the painting, I'm thinking of love, the vibration of love. Um, I want some intellect here. Libra's love intellect. Combining their intellect, their communication together. And you just do whatever you want. You paint. My job is to fill the canvas, allow my energy to just flow call in the spirits i'm asking my helping spirits to enjoy this work that i'm creating i mix colors right on the canvas i'm flowing you want to get into the flow the good energy now this is just an example right this minute because i didn't light the candles or the incense but i just wanted to give you uh just wanted you to see how you can create magic in so many different creative ways. So many ways to create magic. And this, the more when you're doing love spells, when you're doing positive spells, the more love energy you bring into it, the more the spirits are gonna come the more the spirits are going to take interest in what I'm doing. Let's put a little bit of vibrant red for that Aries. Vibrant, romantic, passion. I want to combine them together, their love combined. And I'm going to write love. I can write large words. I can do flowy script writing. I'm gonna take some deep purple in here. Intensity. I like a lot of contrast colors. So I'm gonna even put a little bit of very dark um, magenta or purpley color in there, creating a lot of contrast. And this is just going to flow. This will turn out to be something. <laughs> I know it looks like a mess, but that's the whole fun of it. You are invoking the spirits with play. You're playing. The more playful you are in love, uh, working love magic, the better. Be playful. Be joyful. Don't be. Don't be so rigid. Um, 
Don't be hard on yourself. Think of if you're doing this for yourself, put in your desires, write them in. I want romance. I want love. I want desire. And you can write it backwards, you can write it forwards. Okay, so this is going to turn into something. Believe me, it will turn into um, an amazing painting when it's done. But first I just flow with the energy. I think of my client, you know, her looks, her energy. She reminds me of a beautiful mermaid. She's very pretty. She has beautiful skin. She has beautiful lips, eyes. So I'm thinking of her and her, her love energy and what she would desire from a partner. Now, I will let this dry. I put extender into the paint so it would flow. So I do have to let, allow this to dry. And then I can come back and I can tone down some areas with some white. Tone down. I can also, while it's wet, I can write more words in it. I can create marks, different mark making. Just have fun, play, invite your spirits. Invite them in. They'll just, they'll, you'll be amazed at the results you get from when, if you create some kind of art, even if it's a craft, you create art. You're creating that love vibration. You're asking the wind to bring in the beautiful love energy. Bring in this love energy now. Bring in the spirits now. And what else do I have to tell you about this? So yeah, this looks pretty wild, but I'm going to allow it to dry. Actually, I'm going to start the spill. I'll be back and I'll show you more of the painting process and how much fun um, it is to invoke spirits through artwork and you'll be really surprised at how they respond and how well your spell work is just gonna it's gonna really intensify your spell work this could just be a way to invoke energy to raise your vibration but for me this is the actual spell work actually doing the art because uh, the universe spirits love when you take action and they love when you're receptive. They love when you put out into the world exactly what you desire. And then you allow yourself to be receptive, to receive your desire. So I'm putting out the energy of love for my client from this person or from someone better if it's not from that person. But we're desiring this person. We're asking the universe to come have a look, come play with me come play with my energy, open up doors, open up new pathways to love for this couple to come back together again and thrive. So I'll be back uh, when this dries and I'll talk more about this concept. So yeah, this is scribbly fun here. This is not um, to be, you're not supposed to get all persnickety about it. It's playing like a child. You're playing with the universe, you're playing with the spirits, and you're inviting them in. So I'll be back as soon as this dries to show you more and talk more about this subject that I'm so passionate about. So I hope you enjoyed this and please come back and watch the next video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this idea and I hope to inspire you with creative ideas uh, using magic creatively. Okay, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye-bye.